For this scenario, we're down at Noble Espresso in Kings Cross to see what issues there are with making coffee. So, Louis at Noble Espresso, who I believe makes some of the best coffee certainly in Kings Cross, <laughs> along with London, along with and London, yeah. yes, <laughs> along with John, yep. Um, when they make their coffee, they've got a bit of a problem. So, what what is the problem you have, Louis? Uh, so. We use scales throughout the process of making coffee. So we work to a recipe. Um, what that means is we're looking for a weight of the grinds, like so. So we're looking at 18.5 grams at the moment for this particular coffee. And so we work to that and then we also work as well to weigh the coffee coming out of here. And we look for 30 grams currently in the cup. So we have 18.5 grams in and uh, 30 grams out. The problem with these scales is that they can get wet, uh, either from the steam from the bottom or from uh, water or coffee falling onto them. And so what does that mean for the average uh, life of your set of digital scales? It means scales? we probably get through about eight, eight pairs a month. Eight pairs a month. And I see you've, you've also got this um, stopwatch up here. What's the purpose of that? <coughs> so within the recipe we look to get a, the weight out within a time window between 25 to 31 oh, yeah. seconds. Okay. So if you watch Sean's process now. Alright, so let's there, let's have a look at that again. Sorry, is that we're using a five? Uh that's Ben. Ben. <laughs> so in terms of what you really need to know then it's basically flow rate there yeah? going through the and then you use that to adjust the size of your grind that's in, right in the grinding machine so, so the size of the grind restricts the liquid going through yeah so and affects the extraction of the coffee so uh, the finer it is the more difficult it is for the water to pass through um, and so all the all the coarser it is the easier it is for the water to pass through and that's going to affect the flow rate and the extraction of the coffee so ultimately, if we tried to design a new piece of technology to solve your problems of scales dying mm -hmm. and timing, would you really want to know weight and time, or would flow rate actually be a much better measure of what you want to know? I think weight and time for where we're at and yeah. in this environment. Yeah, because because that's what you used to. Precisely. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so I mean basically having them waterproof <laughs> yep. is probably the most important thing. Most important and, thing for you guys. I, and whether or not it's easy, I don't know, but accurate to point one of a gram as well. Yep. If that's, if that's possible. If that's possible. Um, yeah, and the other thing as well is obviously with electronics, water don't mix so the yeah, display yeah. goes and becomes more yeah. difficult to I mean the other thing I noticed is that it's not easy with the Scales. The display you've is got both with weigh the coffee sometimes. Both yeah. on your um, um, oh, lights, lights will be helpful. Yeah, 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 yeah lights will be helpful so <laughs> in the winter mornings. That, that, believe it or not, I've zoomed into there. Is the is the timer? Right. Yeah. And down here, when we're trying to see, read that, not easy. So improving those things would be great. I guess the other thing to consider is the scales have to fit in the space that we see that's correct yeah about there Which i remember sure. also as you can see that these guys are moving around rapidly so it's got to be easy for them all right thanks for that guys we'll see what we can do for you thank you man.